Okay, tonight we're going to be doing a review on the um, 2D cell battery um, from uh, MurderTheBugs.com uh, Racket. Um, pick this one up for twenty dollars and free shipping. Uh, comes with this cool little light. Um, if you push the button, it stays on. Absolutely incredible. Um, I haven't seen this on another racket yet. Um, um, it also has, um, like I said, a little LED light. And on top, I guess, that's live up there. There's a little, um, I don't know if you can see it well. Um, it's a small piece of metal. And if you touch, let's see, let's see if I can get them. If you touch um, a moth with it, Yep, it hits them, as you see. So I just hit a moth with that top metal um, bar and gave them quite a hell of a little zap. Um, got another little fly over here. Damn, you get some power. Neat little racket. <sighs> Not bad. Over here, we, we got a spider. Right over here, and let's see if I can entice them. I guess it's a dead spider. So, yeah, nothing out of him. And yeah, not not a bad little racket. And like I say, the the button stays on. Uh, they claim it has five capacitors in it. It produces about um, 2,400 uh, volts. There's another moth right there. That was the one that I guess is stunned. Um, so goodbye. And yeah, so we just got um, a mealy moth. Moth that came in from the outside and a little fly. Let's see how it does on fruit flies. I usually have some right in here. There we go. Fruit flies. Yep. Getting them. Damn, good little racket. Hitting some fruit flies. Some of them get through it because what it is is um, this outside grid, um, that's the ground, and the inside grid is um, active. So you got two grounds in an active inner grid. So the bug needs to make contact on the. Um, the ground and the, the positive grid because if it if it doesn't make contact on both of them um, it won't work so um, when it hits the fruit flies as we see there we go yeah they got it's got to make contact on both of them to actually get them to fry <clears throat> so yeah it's working so amazing little racket I've got um, these winter moss outside and, and I'm absolutely excited to try it on the winter moss and what else does this thing come with it comes with it with a layered to, to hang it so it comes with a layered um, you can buy like 10 of these on um, eBay um, with with free shipping um, they're about a dollar ninety nine ship ten of them to the house so you know you don't buy this racket you can always go to Amazon and buy a ten pack of the Laird's for and they I guess they come from South Korea um, and if you turn this to off that's just for the light so it still stays active that that just if you want to go outside and Try to attract some like winter moss or something. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this racket is um, 
it kind of wobbles a little bit and I'm worried it's gonna break with a little uh, abuse so I recommend kind of being gentle with it because it bends I kind of wish they used a little better plastic for a housing but you know I haven't had any issues with it it came working it's still working um, and I love how it how it stays hot when you push the button and um, you know I definitely recommend this this um, this racket and um, the only thing I really don't like about um, this company is that they've got a um, video of someone uh, zapping a um, bumblebee and I, I make a lot of uh, whiskey out I mean um, like honey wine and stuff's awesome it's like 34 proof and the um, you know the main ingredient is honey to get the alcohol content and I would never ever go outside and uh, zap a bee and I don't absolutely know what um, it is in the video um, if it's a honeybee shame on you guys but yeah, I don't say anything about killing bees because bees are already having a hard time with parasites and stuff but you know besides that like I like this racket and I only use it in the house I'm not Rambo I'm not gonna go outside and kill some friggin poor innocent um, you know insect but Lyme disease has come come across the area someone um, you know in a 30 mile radius from us uh, they they just came down with Lyme Lyme disease it wasn't life-threatening for them but um, you know it does cause quite a health risk yet so at night when I go outside because I smoke cigarettes I, I definitely um, bring my zapper racket with me and any uh, mosquito that is in my path you know I try to zap and a lot of them uh, actually end up like coming in and biting me and I bring it in the house and I have um, two babies in the house so that's why I'm here kind of cleaning the house of bugs because it was just me and my wife. I, I really wouldn't care. Because um, I feel like they got a right to live just like anybody else does. Um, I don't friggin' think we're friggin' superior. Unless you're a friggin' Bible... Bible thumper that I'm not. So... If, um... You know, you're into this, I definitely recommend picking one up. Um, zap away. Um... You know, your house is your kingdom. Kill anything you want that goes inside of it. But outdoors, I definitely recommend. Um, unless you get, like, the uh, winter moss that, that eat the elm trees, like I have. Because a couple of my elm trees, it's going to cost me, like, $4,000 to chop them down. So this winter, you're going to see me outside um, going crazy on the winter moss that eat my uh, elm trees. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, a mosquito that's carrying the West Nile virus. I don't really like um, spiders in the house and uh, bugs because of the children and stuff. But anyways, um, you know, I've got I've got one more racket to go. I I'm gonna do that um, sometime in the near future. And I've got some more modifications for you. And I've got a different um, lot of rackets coming in in the mail um, from. Uh, like like Hong Kong or something so whenever they get here or if they ever do get here I'll uh, do a review on those also so until next time uh, happy, happy zapping from the bug zapper review and um, hope to hear from you guys soon um, please leave me some comments bye